know. Hello, guys, and but welcome we have to do something. Two Razor Games Are you fucking now. Kidding me? We're this back for more of the wolf sure among us. Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. And here we brought the crooked man. He's back. There's no <gasps> white. Crooked man. <clears throat> Thank God. Motherfucker. Yeah, you're right, Gwen. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. I'm fine, the crooked no. Man's place. It's nothing, I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... Please stop talking. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Oh, come on, Snow. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole <coughs> down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get Those off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. Holy fuck, everyone shit. shut up. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Oh, is shit. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Let's sheriff? Stay quiet here. Allow me. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned yeah. with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you motherfucker. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding Holy and providing shit, monetary man. support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and Don't sale interrupt. of magical no. artifacts. Okay. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. If you wanted a chance to talk, well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed he's crimes against this government and, most doom, importantly, man. its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where world. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then. we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves shit, together man, and make something of this shit. town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more That's snap this, judgments, no more bad secrets. People get away. We are going to treat everyone fairly. Even when they don't deserve it. Because of justice. This oh, is no. ridiculous. We shouldn't have taken up those cups, man. It's a crooked man. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person yeah, he was. Let's listen to him, guys. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. 
I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? Holy fuck I would you. never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They okay, do it because I they want to protect me. As I Crooked Man them. is taking the technicalities you here. wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. What's he talking about? I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Why not let an old man say his piece? Oh, shit, shit. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Holy shit. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Oh, Her shit. story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. Yeah, and man. in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. Yeah, I but knew it. I should have killed the crooked man before. Them. Really? The and new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? Uh, oh no, Snow. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big B just This is I important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, <coughs> oh, but you no. can't lie to me. It's gonna be you trouble. You hated Crane, and Can you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. Okay. I don't know and what that to may not always here be anymore. Clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better uh, life. Yeah, that's the thing. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Holy shit. <laughs> it's time for the witching well, man. Yeah, you're right. You didn't have to do anything. 
but you exploited Very, uh, all their clear. weaknesses. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White, but it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the. Georgie bird. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. Wait, what are you talking there is about? A... And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. <clears throat> what do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe. Maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're uh, trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now don't make him a murderer. What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He what? was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. <clears throat> right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <clears throat> That's you. enough. So. You won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. To find Georgie her, killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crisis. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know- The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level of privilege should be afforded to them. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. Holy shit. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, it's a which whole one mess. of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too Shit. stupid no, 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 to command no, no, no. your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Holy who fuck. will be the- Big B? Miss White! There he- there she is. Excuse <clears throat> me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's one? she doing here? She's her only chance. I, to, I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Go ahead. Of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, yeah, I don't you're think going Nerissa! Down. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn yeah. about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Yeah. Did you now? 
Yeah, it's motherfucker, like going down. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you Please want to repay up. all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Right on, Big B. Right on. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. <clears throat> How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood care. So we get rid of him. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Oh, shit. Why not? Am what I making the call or solution? Everyone, sir? calm down. I'll stay silent here. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Uh, fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Wolf. It's your call. It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. Fuck. God damn it. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, this is gonna be your own undoing. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Lock him up. <laughs> you said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you That's can't be What serious. he's done? You're just gonna put him in prison? <laughs> this isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. <coughs> okay, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.